very much for coming. All right. Uh, we're very pleased to have to welcome all the Vaishnavas here at 26 Second Avenue. Uh, that everyone is welcome here, and of course, uh, everyone knows the uh, significance of 26 Second Avenue. That this is the beginning of. Uh, Prabhupada's official preaching in the in the West. So, in either directly or indirectly, uh, most of us here have uh, uh, some uh, sentiment or s have s some kind of indebtedness to this place, 26 Second Avenue. And we thank everyone for coming here and for uh, giving your association to all of us who regularly come here, and I especially, yes, please, how Maharaj, here? especially we, sorry, <coughs> yes, yes, no, I, I'm not uh, from this place, from uh, the West Coast, from the first temple Los president Angeles. in Los Angeles, first temple president, yes. So, uh, Prabhupada was, uh, originally came, uh, of course, in 1965, and he was staying with some people and giving lectures in various places. And uh, then he uh, came to New York. He continued to give lectures in various places with no fixed place. So, uh, he had to tolerate a uh, very... Uh, uncomfortable situation in uh, one apartment living with uh, only some young people and uh, one of these people was crazy so it was very uncomfortable difficult situation then he had some followers some young men and uh, they were not very serious but he requested them please help me help me to find a place. So two of them especially uh, took this seriously that uh, we can't subject uh, Carl Jurgens and uh, Michael, Grant. Michael Grant. That's uh, Mukunda Goswami now. He is Mukunda Goswami. Carl Jurgens is not associated anymore with devotees but he was initiated. What is his name? He took initiation. But Carl so these two uh, helped Prabhupada and Mukunda found this place and uh, there was also a residence, an apartment in the, uh, across this courtyard here. So together the two places then uh, became the official place for, for Prabhupada to preach. Then in the beginning... This was her residence or his cooking? That was there. Cooking was in the residence. Just across here. Here he used to cook Prachar, and Harikata. Yes, Harikata and then Prachar, yes, exactly. And uh, it, uh, students were not very serious. Uh, Prabhupada then uh, was cooking in his apartment. And also <coughs> cleaning up after these young uh, students were coming. And uh, taking Prashad in the middle of the day. Some of them were just loitering, they had nothing to do, no uh, occupation. And so they were coming uh, regularly just to take prasad from Swamiji. Then uh, he was giving in the evening and uh, the morning classes here in this place. So more people were coming to the classes and then a few uh, who later became more serious, they were taking Prashad with Swamiji in midday. So gradually, gradually, Prabhupada taught them how to clean the pots, how to cook Prashad, how to do everything, lead Sankirtan, how to manage the finances, how to administrate the mandir. So in this way, Prabhupada uh, actually began with uh, very little nothing, only some raw material. So then he began also back to Godhead magazine as Maharaj 
said, and uh, it was printed in a very uh, crude manner, uh, just here in this center. So they they used to uh, print this, and then go on the street and distribute the magazine. Then, uh, at some point, they also began to go to the nearby park, about eight ten blocks away, and uh, have some kirtan on uh, Sundays or so on uh, special days in the park. Oh yes, Tompkins Square Park. Then. Charter. Charter, yes, yes. The uh, <coughs> incorporation, yes. The uh, so then in July, after a few months, uh, Prabhupada wanted to incorporate the society as International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And some devotees they were embarrassed because they said, Swamiji has called it international but actually we have only one center. So they were embarrassed. Then uh, after some months, again uh, then in December, uh, Prabhupada went to <coughs> West Coast, to San Francisco. He began there. Then constantly Prabhupada was preaching open temples, open temples. If, any, if anybody came who was serious, he said, I want 108 temples. So then, if somebody was serious or senior, he said, you please go to this place. Somebody would write a letter to Prabhupada, uh, this Vancouver, Canada, <coughs> Los Angeles, San Diego, some, uh, they're suggesting that this is a good place. Then Prabhupada would see somebody and say, you go, you go, you go. So that in this way, centers began in various places. Prabhupada Kita! you please. You can tell something because you are so serious here. Yes. in October of 1966 and I met Srila Prabhupada at that famous tree in Tompkins Square Park and then uh, some stranger invited me to the temple here and uh, right at that corner of the temple somebody handed me a japati and as I was eating it and thinking how intoxicating this tasted I overheard two brahmacharis speaking one was saying to the other that Swamiji has just said that when God brothers fight or argue, it should be taken as clouds passing by. In other words, when clouds pass by, nobody notices it. So very insignificant. Then someone invited me up to Prabhupada's quarters, just a few feet across the courtyard. And um, in Prabhupada's room, anybody could go in at that time. Prabhupada sat back, there were just a bunch of hippies in his room, we were all hippies, and Prabhupada said, this process is nothing that you or I have made up. It is very old and simple and sublime. Then he sat back and he said, we are temporary, uh, this body is temporary, everything around us is temporary, but we are eternal. And then he invited me to come to the morning and evening programs. He had morning program at 7 o'clock, samsara prayers, and then always the morning tune of Sri Krishna Chaitanya and Hare Krishna. And then he'd speak on Srimad Bhagavatam. And then one month later in November 19th, he began speaking on Chaitanya Charitamrita, the teachings of Lord Chaitanya to Sanatana Goswami, chapter 20, 22. And he would speak about the different incarnations. He would speak how Krishna is on his road show, traveling throughout the universes. And then he would speak about the love of Radha and Krishna. He would quote Radha Krishna Pranaya Vrikati Vadivishakti Asmat, how the love of Radha and Krishna is the 
highest um, manifestation of the absolute truth. And I remember after one class, I asked him, because I thought that I'm a girl, Radharani is a girl, and Krishna is a boy, I asked him up in his quarters if it's all right to be jealous of Radharani. And he said, no, you can only get to Krishna through Radharani. And then he was sitting in his courtyard here, just outside the temple, and he was sitting on a beach chair, that is those plastic chairs with the sewn, and uh, all the devotees were coming up to him and he was patting everybody on the back, petting the girls on the head. And he said that, um, then he said that Krishna is very strict and Radharani is very nice. He said, even if I'm a nonsense, if I approach Radharani, then she will go to Krishna and say, I could never love you as much as this devotee, so please accept that devotee. And because the devotee is recommended by Radharani, then Krishna must accept. So upstairs in his quarters, he performed the, uh, all the initiation ceremonies. And I remember at my initiation, he was telling us about the chanting. And he said that the goal of chanting is that there should be tears falling from the eyes, shivering, hair standing on end. And this happens very easily unless there are offenses. And then he proceeded to list and explain the ten offenses to the chanting. And this upstairs is also where Prabhupada performed his own personal puja on his small uh, oval altar. And he would, every morning, he would offer Duparti and recite Oma Gyanam Timarandasya in offering uh, obeisances to his spiritual master. And in that same room, that room is called the altar room. That's where actually Srila Narayan Maharaj sent Prabhupada's first Radha Krishna deities and they were worshipped up in those quarters. Uh, Srila Narayan Maharaj also sent the first two Murdangas, Kartals, and all of Prabhupada's books from Calcutta. Um, any of you who know about preserving books, uh, you have to use this very toxic chemicals. So Srila Narayan Maharaj became ill in um, getting all of Prabhupada's books from Calcutta and mailing them here to New York so Srila Prabhupada could use them as references for his translations of the Gita and Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, teachings of Lord Chaitanya. So in those quarters, uh, we worship the first deities and then in uh, April, uh, in, from January to April of 67, Prabhupada went to San Francisco and when he came back, we brought with him the uh, second Lord Jagannath deities of the movement. And uh, Jagannath and Balaram came with Prabhupada and uh, Prabhupada personally put them up on their first altar, which was two brown chairs. And Prabhupada put his arms around Jagannath and Baladev and got them into their places like that, moved them with his arms. And then Subhadra came from San Francisco a couple of days later, and Prabhupada said she's late just like a woman, but she's the most beautiful of the three. And then uh, in April, Prabhupada continued his Chaitanya Charitamrita to classes, and also he began his series of teachings of Pallad Maharaj. He also instructed me to do these paintings that you see around the uh, walls, this one of Radha and Krishna. He told me to copy from his very first, uh, first canto Srimad Bhagavatam cover, which incidentally, when Prabhupada was printing those Bhagavatams in Delhi, Srila Maharaj was associating with Prabhupada when Prabhupada was at that Radha Damodar temple they would cook together, talk together, so many things. Uh, Maharaj explains that Prabhupada was wearing worn and torn cloth, and he gave Prabhupada his chatter to lie down on. They would make chupatis together and discuss Prabhupada's plans for coming to America. And then uh, Prabhupada had me do this painting here in 1967 of Jashoda and Krishna. And he explained, he explained that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give what no other avatar or acharya ever gave before. That is, previously, the highest concept of God was as God is the Father, the order supplier. But here in this picture, it shows that um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give something much higher, that one can become even the mother of God, the friend of God, the lover of God. And he's showing, he explained that 
because he was cutting the jungles of Mayavad philosophy, he said, we don't want to become one with God. And he pointed to that painting and he said, we want to become greater than God so that God depends on us just like Mother Yasoda. There were two uh, Rajbasi prints right over here. One of Krishna feeding um, Glovjamins to a calf and the other very beautiful of Krishna sitting on the rock. And Prabhupada said on his Vyasasana right there, and he said, we are not interested, the Vyasasana is not there, but there's a photo, I don't know if that photo can be taken off the wall above you, or if it's attached, but Prabhupada's Vyasasana was right there, and this is a photo of Srila Prabhupada sitting uh, on that Vyasasana with a oval picture of Radha and Krishna above him. That was taken in 1967 right here. Um, so Prabhupada said, he was looking at those Prajbasi prints, and he said, we are not interested in going to Vaikuntha. We want to be with Krishna sitting on the rock in Vrindavan. So I don't want to take any more time because uh, now I'll introduce Srila Narayan Maharaj, who himself has come from Vrindavan, just like Srila Prabhupada, to New York to glorify Prabhupada and continue his mission. He says continually, that he came to the West for three reasons. The first reason is to um, go to all the holy places, particularly this holy place, where Prabhupada established temples, and take the dust from Prabhupada's feet, place that dust on his own head, bathe himself or abhishek himself with that dust so that he would get energy to continue Prabhupada's mission. So, uh, a big landing place for Swami Maharaj, for Srila Prabhupada, and uh, he introduced that, uh, what became probably known as Krishna Consciousness. i am seeing this very nice painting here, I assume by Jadarani of Prathamashad, and underneath at an angle is Krishna, but Consciousness is with Srila Prabhupada. So, for Krishna Consciousness, uh, necessitates uh, the devotee, you know, the participation of the devotee. How we, we will be Krishna conscious alone is, you know, is impossible. So our Sri Padna Raimars has come here actually by invitation of Sri Prabhupada. <coughs> and um, that invitation was given long, long time ago. And uh, in a very uh, very happy and charming way Maharaj has come here. Before before we left Thompson Square Park, I gave him a piece of the tree <coughs> that Srila Prabhupada chanted under him, requested him take this back back to the church. So it is indeed a holy place, a pilgrimage. Um, maybe something like the Siddha Bakul tree and Jagannath Puri where Acharya Haridas Thakur did his bhajan, chanting lakhs of names daily. Srila Prabhupada came out from Vrindavan, his rooms in Radha Damodar, he made a tremendous sacrifice that, that most of us know <coughs> well about. Um, and uh, our Sri Padna Maharaj, he knows well about Srila Prabhupada also, his struggles here, and he knows him internally also. And um, two things I'll mention more. One is that once when Swami Maharaj was questioned how difficult a place it is, where you've gone and how you succeeded there, he replied by saying, well, I am a Calcutta boy. <laughs> and anyone who has seen Calcutta knows that if you are trained in Calcutta, New York is, you know, no problem for you. <laughs> and uh, second thing is that Maharaj told yesterday that uh, Srila Prabhupada, requested him by his own hand to place him in samadhi. And uh, I had the fortune of being standing behind Maharaj when Srila Prabhupada requested that. And then he was... Actually, Srila Prabhupada requested him to sit on his bed. Please sit here. Babaji Maharaj and others used to come to see Srila Prabhupada, who were directly his uh, god brothers, disciples of Saraswati Thakur. Especially Babaji Maharaj used to just jump onto Srila Prabhupada's bed, almost <laughs> shocking us. He would just jump and sit next to Prabhupada and they would talk in Bengali and he would start to sing. So uh, when Narayan Maharaj came to visit that day, Prabhupada asked him, please sit on my bed. But Maharaj declined. He would not sit on his bed. 
And he told Maharaj, I cannot sit on your bed, you're, you're my guru. <coughs> I remember seeing uh, Srila Prabhupada's face over his shoulder. Prabhupada was lying on the bed. And he looked at Narayan Maharaj and he said, yes, for a long time I know you are, you are, our relationship is like that. You are seeing like that, that I am your Guru Maharaj. So of course that is Shiksha Guru and there is much intimacy there. But it is, it, is a, it is a true thing that there is the external movement of the Vaishnava and the internal movement. And we know much about Srila Prabhupada externally, what he did. But what moved him internally to do all these things, uh, in, in many cases, remains a great <coughs> mystery. And it is in relation to the internal prospect that he requested Maharaj to personally place him in the Samadhi. That is not an ordinary thing. It cannot be done by ordinary things, actually. Uh, and not simply because Maharaj has studied many books and knows many things and many appropriate mantras also necessary, but because of the great intimacy which they shared together for many years. And I know that if Srila Prabhupada was here today to personally welcome Maharaj, he's welcoming him to all of you and us, uh, he would be very happy to take him to Radha Govindaji Monday for Darshan of uh, Radha Govinda. But uh, unfortunately there's not maybe time for that or situation. Srila Prabhupada always uh, chose some special place of residence. In Vrindavan, he lived near that, uh, what is that temple, Gopal Temple at first, near Keshigat. And he tried for a long time to secure his rooms in Radha Damodar. At Delhi, he lived in a place called Chippiwada. At Chippiwada, there's the uh, deities of Radha Krishna. <coughs> there. And his struggles began there. He used to sometimes sleep in a doorway. I met many people in Delhi who assisted Srila Prabhupada in his Delhi struggles to print those Bhagavatams. He printed his Bhagavatams at a press. You know the name of that press? Radha Press. I found that press. With great difficulty. The, the OK Press, that was OK. <laughs> that was your back to Godhead. But to press the book of Bhagavatam, he chose Radha Press. He lived in, before that, Radha Shmarik. Shmarik is called? In Jansi, Radha Shmarik. Not just state, and not simply coincidentally either. But Srila Prabhupada did not speak much about his personal struggles and, and so many things. But he chose these things very expertly. And when I went to this Radha Press, which is over across the Yamuna River in Delhi, I saw that press. That day, there was one big Mayavadi at that press. Dongri Maharaj was there. So we had some words. And then I went to the press, and the press that printed the Bhagavatam is in the middle of the floor. And it's quite neat and clean, surprising for a press in India. Very neat and clean. And all along the wall, there are shlokas at this press. And all Sanskrit and Hindi. So I'm not reading Sanskrit and Hindi. I'm a stupid fellow. So I'm looking at all these things. What is this? Oh, this is a sloka of Bhagavad Gita Bhagavatam. Then I look. One sloka was in English. That sloka was Trinadapi Sunichena. It is spelled in English. So I asked the Sharmaji, whose press it was, who worked for Dalmia, the secretary for Mr. Dalmia. I asked him, well, why this sloka is in English? And he told, oh, you're Gurmaraj. He told, one sloka you must put here in English. And he told uh, this uh, Trinada piece in each Jaina from Shikshastra by Mahaprabhu. I thought, oh, that is very nice. Then later I heard from some of the god brothers of our Sri Prabhupada and Gaudiya that uh, the, they used to joke with him because he was a chemist. They would say, hey, Babu, can you put some formula for Krishna consciousness into a bottle? Because he's making formulas. He told, yes, I have the formula. <laughs> the difficulty is putting in the body. <laughs> and they said, you have the formula. What is that formula? And he told, Trinata, peace, and nature. Without humility, Krishna consciousness is only mental speculation or pundit knowledge and all these things. The crown jewel of the Vaishnava is, is humility. 
And at that time also I discovered a, I was visiting the gentleman who owned the OK Press, and uh, uh, he's now a lawyer, but I visited his uh, Delhi home in Old Delhi, and uh, he gave me some very old books that Sri Prabhupada had published. Bhagavatam with black covers. Originally he printed red cover and black cover and then made a choice. But then he gave me this one volume one black cover. So he was there, his wife was there, his daughter was there, who was now about that time about 29 years old or so. And at that time that little, that lady was just a baby, a few months old. And Philip Robert used to come there and do so many things. Actually, he used to cook their lunch for them. And they would take the shot together. I saw one plaque on the wall. It said, I am a servant of God. God will protect me. Why I should fear for anything? Or why I should worry? Worry or fear, I think. So I thought, that sounds familiar. So I asked, who has written this? They said, oh, daily, we were telling your Guru Maharaj, you don't have proper cloth, you don't have proper place to stay, you need to put money aside and get these things for yourself. Why do you go through all these difficulties? And he would say, I am servant of God, God will protect me, therefore I should fear for him. Well, he sacrificed everything, and on the way, he charmed everyone. Everyone that he met in this world, and uh, uh, and came here and continued to charm the devotees, and his charm certainly continues in the world even to this day. So I myself feel very fortunate to uh, 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 know Sri Prabhupada Narayan Maharaj on various levels. It's 1976 July. We first met Patit Udarn, Patit Pavana. He found Maharaja's temple. He came to us uh, in Vrindavan. He told, I have found the temple where Prabhupada took sannyas. And I have seen the photo. So I said, oh, take me there. I want to see this place. So we went there, and that was before remodeling. There was one, like, lotus in the center of the floor. So some brahmacharis there, they told, yes, you're Swami Maharaj taking sannyas here. So we went to our head. And then, uh, briefly, we met Narayan Maharaj, and they finally gave us this photo of Srila Prabhupada taking sannyas. That photo is everywhere, it is famous, it is dear to all. These things which are dear to us, which are connected to Srila Prabhupada, we must consider that by whose hand we get these things, those persons must also be dear to us. It is not simply, Prabhupada came, he came. But he had backing, he had friends, he had people that he remembered. And Maharaj, as has been said many times through his American tour, he sent the first Murdanda. As soon as I heard he's coming to America, <coughs> but now he's come to play the Murdanda. <laughs> I didn't see him play with the fingers, but we're dancing, he's playing the Murdanda. Go fast, he's going to go fast, go slow. So he's playing the Murdanda. The Brihat Madanga, the preaching Madanga, the Sankirtan Madanga, the deities Madanga, and uh, Peda. Uh, but I wonder, who got the Peda? <laughs> no, he sent it, but who ate it? Only Prabhupada? Yeah. You probably wouldn't remember, it was just a, a dark, round, mushy, <laughs> mud, mud, not mud. So Maharaj, now we'll hear something from you, please. <laughs> oh, Primarandi! Vancha Kalpataru Vesha Krikasin Bhabhai Vacha Patitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namo Mahabhatanna Krishna Prima Pradayati Krishna Ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratishi Gurave Gaurachandraya 
राधिकाय तदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय कर भक्ता जन I am remembering all the things when I met him, how I heard him, <coughs> how my first meeting, how sannyas, how serving him, last meeting and I served him in Vindavan. As if some riddles are going on. He was a very bosom friend of my Gurudev. He was a bona fide Guru Nishtha. You know Guru Nishtha? Always internally and outwardly serving his Holy Master. He has not anything to do for himself, only to carry the order of his Holy Master and to serve Radha Krishna and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When I compare my Gurudev and him, I realize that both are in the same platform. And they are really there. Tan, man and bachan means body, mind and soul also was. <coughs> they have offered in the lotus feet of that holy master. We offer ourselves in the lotus feet of our Holy Master, but we cannot do only by words or something, but fully by Atma, by mind, we cannot do. But I have seen and I have realized for my Guru Dev how he has served his Guru Dev with his soul, mind, life and everything. It will be a very big history. Like same, Swamiji has not come for his, any making money, for reputation, for any worldly things, that from India so many persons come to West for money, wealth, reputation, to be easy in their life, but he has not come for this two. Only by the order of his Guru Dev, Master, and to fulfill the orders of his one of our spiritual Radha and Krishna conjugal. His Guru Dev was most dearest beloved of Srimati Radhika. He had not told that I am the servant of Krishna. <coughs> I 
नमो विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्री श्रीमद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती ती नाम श्री पार्श्व भानवी देवी दयिताय तो आई थिंक दैट श्रीमती राधिका हैज टोल्ड टू हिम दैट ऑर्डर दिस योर मेड सर्वेंट टू गो टू वर्ल्ड and inspire inspire all human beings not human them but all the creatures and all living entity they should come to me there is no bhakti in western country no bhakti they don't know anything they don't chant krishna or mahaprabhu always so much emergency what the gratification sense gratification so you should go and help so we can he message was mission the same at chaitanya mahaprabhu came i think that so many of disciples of sami ji that don't know all these things that he has come for mandi for the same mission for which chaitan mahaprabhu rup sanatan raghunath das goshami kabiraj goshami shila bhakti vinod thakur all were so near and dear they were in their past life they were a praja samon kaman banjari shila bhakti no tha prabhupal se nain manjari shila rup goshami rup manjari sarup damodar bal lalita bisakha was rairaman so bisi all this the dharmishan was to go to all the persons everywhere in the world and to make them pure devotees you heard that as lok to be a pure devotee will have to be to take that the same bottle in the fridge everything is formula is there tena tapi suni chena taro rapi sahi sunna manina manadina kirtaniya we to want to be a vaishnava we want to be a vaishnava but this is lot but <coughs> is wrong if you are not following this is lot we cannot be pure devotee but i am thinking now and realizing it that this is lot had been uh, over sighted now some devotees are doing against this and he is saying this and he is so sad for this thing. so we have not come here to take worldly knowledge <coughs> now we are going to all the things and every way to what knowledge we will have from there we don't know any knowledge we know one only bhakti jo by this hare naam hare naam hare naam ai va kevalam kalau nasti vanasti he has come to preach this thing anyone no need of learning anything more what knowledge krishna tattva maya tattva every tattva will come automatically by following hare krishna hare krishna krishna will manage name is more powerful than i know him from very beginning i think that most of you have not birth at that time i met him <coughs> in the end of 46 or beginning of 47 i think very few at that time you will have birth there 
and from there, I'm serving him. I'm known. At that time, anyone not to serve him, but I was to serve him. He used to meet me as like a friend, not a disciple always. But I treated him like Shiksha. And that is why when he was penniless, he was a, a straight bigger, he came to me at Mathura. When his sons and wife kicked him, no place in home, he came to me and told the story. When I joined, when I met with Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Goswami Thakur, he was telling to me, sitting together in Mathura, about in 40, no, 1957 or like. When I was initiated by Srila Prabhupada Srila Bhakti Siddham Saraswati Goswami Thakur, I read a slow Jasya Jada. Anugranami Harisheta Dhanamushanai. Those who take shelter of Krishna, Krishna make him, always makes him the street bearer. Now he has made me so. I was saying that when I will chant more, do devotional services, then I may be the street bearer. Now I see that I am. I advise them that Krishna does not want or your Prabhupada does not want that you should be successful in your worldly things. So he has done like so. He was so much powerful, he was so much learned. Your Holy Master has told you to preach in Western countries in English language, <coughs> your language is English language is so rich. You can do it. Only in Bengal, Bengali language we talk each other. He told me, I don't know what to do. But I know that Krishna Mercy has come, that is why I have become bigger. And in the meantime, our Guru, Gurudev come, came to Mathura from Navadri Maha. And I also requested him <coughs> that he should tell him to take renounce order. My Gurudev also requested him and he became. He agreed. And next day, at the time of Vishwaru Khaur, when Vishwaru was in Purnima, in Bhat Purnima, in the month of... Yeah, before Kartik. Then he took Sanyas. I, I managed everything from Danda, door coffin, cloth, everything I managed. I also managed for it fire sacrifice, jagga, and I did it. I recited his months. Then Guru Maharaj came, gave door coffee, month and jagga. Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj was at that time also doing Krishna. Someone told, someone asked me, or told me, among the disciples of Samiji having done that, they were GVC members. That sannyas giving is only a secondary thing. I told them, you don't know anything. Not? Sannyas is given for only gopi bhav. The mantra is gopi bhav. This mantra is itself for gopi bhav. So, sannyasa is not an ordinary thing. The Gurudev sees that he may have this 
this mantra and this sanya that now I have no nothing to do with worldly things, I want this. So it is not a second. It opens the door to go to Braja in the mood of Gobi. And I saw them. Then they did. So only this is not second thing. Do them get you. Sometimes maybe that Diksha Guru cannot give, but after that Siksha Guru can give it. So it was happened. Then our relation became more thick and more thick like friends. I went with him in Jhansi and wherever he used to go to for preaching. He wanted to be always with me. I used to help him in cooking everything. He used to also translate Gita. In being Keshavji Gauriyamat, he translated Gita so much, I was helping him all respects. After we went to Vrindavan, <coughs> in Rupa Goswami Samadhi and Bhajanasthali. And after that, he planned to come to Western countries. He told me that I want to open some rooms for students boarding, lodging, and I will help them. And if it will be essential. Then I will supply also eggs, maids and everything what they want. But there will be one condition, condition that is, they will have to tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, 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 they will give up all these things in very short time and they will be born of fire question. So he was so generous. I sent, as you have heard, I have sent everything to Swamiji. Help him. To send all his books, only he took with him one Gita and three volumes of Srimad Bhagavatam. Ekarta and some nothing with me. I remember now that the address where, where I used to send this is second second avenue this. So so many things happened and when he used to do anything new he used to write me. About three hundred or more than that. Let us correspondence with him. When uh, this institution, uh, what institution? Inaugurated. Was established, he at once wrote me that we are coming. He told also that so many hippies are coming now. <laughs> and they will be happy this also. When he came to this place, he wrote me. <coughs> when he went to San Francisco, so from here, where he used to write this. So, our friendship went on this. And he, when he returned for the time in India with Kirtana Ananda and Achyutananda, perhaps was there too. I was only one man to receive him in the airport of Delhi. None was there. And I was with him about 15 days there in Delhi and he went to Radha Damodar Temple. And after that I went to Delhi. And time to time I used to go. I know that all the Goswamis of Vrindavan and his God brothers, they don't used to take even a touched water by Krishnananda and Parshita. Because they are Western and they have taken place and all these things. 
but I used to see it with Maharaj Swamiji and to see it with Kirtananda Chodha because they were disciples of Swamiji. And I used to take Prasadam, Mahaprasadam, everything. Still, Swamiji was alive. No one took anything from him, not even a water. <coughs> But now they are becoming friends of GBC. And I am thrown out. Perhaps they don't know. They are so much children. They don't remember the days when he called all and told, Narayan Maharaj has come, now I am so glad. Everything will be done. Narayan Maharaj plays, you should give me Shamadhi. With your own hand, I know that you are so qualified for all these things. And also try to, to help them. I brought all these boys, like a naughty boy, not knowing everything. He also liked monkeys. <coughs> also he told. I told him. You should help me. I told that I will carry your order to my ability. And then he began. He also called up them and I told that you should not think that he is going to die. But this is a play a role. He is going to serve eternally to his master's divine couple and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Nityananda Prabhu. And in body, in one body he will be here forever to nourish you. He can make, he can have so many shapes as Krishna has said. Like Narada, you know, he has lakhs and lakhs. Also, Yashoda Ma, Nanda Baba, all are lacks and lacks manifestations. In this way, we will be here and always among you, giving inspirations and making arrangements. But if you think that he is mortal mind, then everything will be spoiled. You should not think. Don't quarrel among you for money, wealth, reputation, and everything. You should try to fulfill his mission, what he did. Try to honor all devotees, whether they are in Kanishta Dikari or Madham or Uttam. So if there are no devotees, also not initiation, even if they are chanting Hare Krishna. You should honor all. As a family, we are all in the family of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> So I remember all these things. I think that he has dropped me here. And if he is seeing all these things, that Narayan Maharaj is here in my 22nd Avenue here. He has been in California. He has been to Manor in England. He was in Los Angeles. And everywhere he is showing me that, oh, here I have so I am so much fortunate to come to this place and to take the feet dust of Swami here. It is so much Maha Mahatirth, like Haridas Thakur when he left his body, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself carried his body and he gave Samadhi with his own hand and told that now this is Maha Maha Mahatirth. <coughs> He was at first Tirtha, but by the touching the four feet of Hidartha, so powerful Maha Tirtha. So it is also on the sea coast, perhaps eastern coast, and in western coast, California and <coughs> all places, Los Angeles, even there, all places. They have become. Uh, so Mahatirtha. 
So my first mission is now for finish. And he, I want his mercy. That where he is, I should go there to meet my Gurudev and him and to serve Pani Sukhan, divine couple. But I am waiting. When they will call, I will go. But till I will have to be in Vrindavan, Mathura and all the places practicing Tina Dabi Suni Jena Tarurabi Sahishuna Manina Manade Shri Gauranga Bolite Have Pula Kasari Rupa Rakhunate Aibe Akuti Kabe Ami Puja Vase Like this Our ultimate goal to serve Srimati Radhika that she told <coughs> Jadurani told I don't tell her Jadurani, but I used to tell her by the name of Shamrani. First, he was in drowning in his world things. Swamiji took her and he gave in the service of Krishna, Jadu is Krishna and Jadu ran. And then I told her, better you can shut her in Krishna. Swami has promoted to this. I want that by his grace, this would be Shyam. So she told the main object of Swami is to come here. Not to be the servant of Krishna, he is crooked and sometimes he is so hard. But Srimati Radhika is so simple, soft, sweet, fragrant, everything. <laughs> Krishna has admitted in Chaitanya Chaitamri that my Guru is Srimati Radhika and we will have to serve. And for this Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to this world. This is the first mission and most important mission of Swami. He <coughs> lost his so much time in clearing Mayabad, Karmabad, Gyanbad, Jogabad, everything. Cut in cutting jungles and to make a very clear of and then he gave the seed of bhakti and that is called to serve Krishna, the issue. And it will come in the shape of outwardly, sraddha, nishtha, ruchi, asakti, bhav. And then nothing in this world to do. Prem will come in next, but when we will be in Vrindavan? So he has come to be this, not to be in always in lower class, always doing the service at first he gave, only to distribute books, to do something, to write something, to do kirtan in the streets. You'll have to go up. You'll have to do also, and you'll have to go up. Shraddha, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti. What is Asakti? What is Ruchi? What is Bhut? What is Vishuddha Sattva? You have to know. Not only that Kirtan doing, but that is end. That Kirtan is of Kanishtha Riga. Names are of so many, so many things. When a man being in the worldly things, if he chants and knows that this body I, I shall, I am this body, then his name is third class, not pure. As much as he develops his Krishna consciousness, name goes pure and pure. When there are offenses, when there are worldly 
stations and all these things. By this name, we can have some wealth, reputation all these things. Sometimes, if Namabhas, we can go to, um, we can have a liberation, but not bhakti at all. By the grace of Gurudev, we will develop our heart in the stage of ruchi, then we will see. We are in time. And then name will be somewhat perfect. When offenses will go, and suddhanam pyor nam will come, and then we will realize, I want this thing. I want same affection and love for me, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Otherwise, we will never know what was the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, what was the mission of our disciplic orders, Gurudev, and also we will think that he was only like us. He had preached some name, but this is not only the glory of our Gurudev or Swamiji. His glory was that he was before engaged, he is always engaged in the service of Radha and Krishna. Mercifully, he has come to this world. And he has given something. So we should try to know him and to glorify him and to preach his mission to this world. Don't, we should be stayed in one platform, but we will develop our most part. I pray here in the lotus place of Swamiji that his, this will be a place to give more mercy so that we will be able to, to understand him in real. Guru Prachodaya, you know this mantra, third mantra, Guru Prachodaya, what is the meaning? Who are you? How are you? What is your share? What is your duty? What is your service to Krishna? And Krishna, Krishna, and Krishna, Krishna who is Srimati Radhika? He should manifest in our heart. If you will do this mantra very carefully, with concentration, he will reveal his whole things. Then we will see. Now we are seeing him not, not in his real self. Consider to see Krishna, but not real self. Oh, he is like man. Duryodha used to see him, Krishna. Never he has any <coughs> understanding. Conception that he is Krishna. So we have seen, perhaps, we have no real conception. If you will chant that mantra, very interesting, honorable, then he may show us that he is mayors, manifest. If he has, we have seen him, anyone in this world, he cannot, he cannot uh, go down. Patit nahi hoga man. Fall down. Fall down. But we see that so many disciples have fall down, get their renounced order. Where are the persons of Bandash, Brahmananda, Pansabhut, Bhavananda? Where? If they have seen him and if they have served him, if they have served him for a moment, then he has never fallen, never fallen. But I see that <coughs> served him in outward. So there are so many devotees I know that they are thinking that we accept him so much and serving. But I see very rare. Very rare. <coughs> you are serving. You are all very good disciples of Samiji. No ego, nothing to control anyone. Any devotee, real devotee cannot control anyone. But we are trying to control. Oh, we are all monarch. We have become. 
and we have served him and served him. But I, I know that very rare person can do. We have seen him from all for We should try to see him in and to follow him. If anyone follow him at very little, he will surely have the Krishna brain and gold. I know. So we are begging to his, his mercy in his lotus feet that he should bestow his mercy more and more that those who have come in his contact for a moment, those who have felt, yet they should return more. All should come. I think that they will have some chance. Even they have been fallen. If they have not done offense, but knowingly if have they have, anyone will do offense, they will have to go very far away and they will never